four and a half for yesterday afternoon New York time but it took a million years <laughs> to get through border control I had a really nice guy Lizzie had a not very nice guy yeah she's shaking her head behind the camera um so yes we had that adventure um we had many adventures travel wise that um I will spare you the details but one thing I will tell you about is that on the London tube on the way to the airport I became stuck firmly between the tube doors because my rucksack got squished and at one point I was like it's going to leave, go through the tunnels and I will still be there. It was horrifying. Um, but yeah that was one of the many things that went wrong during our travel journeys um, yesterday. Um, but we eventually made it here. The apartment is lovely. It is mess so I won't show you. Um, our doing, not the apartment itself. Um, and we had, I think you'll have seen a singular clip of um, smoothie. Um, so yeah, so we've had breakfast and we're going to have a chill day in Brooklyn, um, hopefully do some vintage shopping and just wandering around and that way if we want to crash this afternoon because I woke up at 4am, we can. Um, so yes, we will catch up with you later on. <laughs> called Geraldine Miller was representing for maids and household workers like how cool so we are back from a day of adventuring I can't actually remember the last thing I showed you but these are our purchases um, this book on Amish patchwork is actually for my mum because she is a wonderful sewer and I know that she's really interested in Amish culture so I think she will love it um, on my Kindle I bought why I'm no longer talking to white people about race which was an absolute steal at like £2.19 and I wasn't even sure if it was a full book or if it was a really short book but it's a normal size one and then from this place, I think it's called Crest, it was the amazing garden centre I showed you earlier um, I bought myself a little garden pot, sorry I'm trying to focus on it um, this little plant pot which has got a nice little, I don't know if you can see but it's got a drainage hole at the bottom which I think is very sensible okay it's not focusing there we go so that's the drainage hole but it's all speckled and it has the name of like the place it was made um, in Washington I want to say um, so yeah those were our purchases from today I found these little quote books that were from all kinds of celebrities obviously Lizzie went for RuPaul I went for Cher also I don't think if I've in, I've introduced you in this vlog hello this is Lizzie my bestie from uni Instagram captions it's a tough life <laughs> um also admire the mess we have made already so um yep it has been an adventure um anyway back to the books Lizzie went for RuPaul um, and I went for share and it's basically got like things that they've said. Let me find a quote for you from Rue. Um, I do not impersonate females. How many women do you know who wear seven inch heels, four foot wigs and skin tight dresses? Well said Rue. 
And then one of shares is for someone who likes tattoos, the most precious thing is bare skin. And I'm thinking about getting a tattoo while I'm here. Um, but yeah, we will update you if I do go for that. So yeah, these were all of our purchases and now I will show you our donuts. We went to Dunwell, an amazing looking vegan donut place that's literally like round the corner. Um, um, but I went for the crunchy peanut butter flavour, which I'm guessing the red bit is jelly on top. Jelly flavour frosting. Lizzie, what flavour did you have for, babe? I've done for waffle. It looks really good. But what is the exciting thing about these donuts? Um, I think I said they're vegan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> still exciting attention. though, still exciting. Um, so... I might have cinnamon on top, it smells cinnamon. Oh cool, that sounds nice. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna eat them and we'll report back as to if you can tell they're vegan. Cute bookstore. Look how cute it is, guys. Wait, what is <laughs> it's our new book for Jono? We just keep finding books for him. There's so many things he needs. Yeah. This is the view from Haney's um, hotel room. Are we on the 25th floor? 25th. Yeah, we're on the 25th floor. I felt very sick in the elevator, but it was totally worth it. Also, I just called it an elevator. <laughs> the lift. The lift. Just doing a panning shot. A lovely panning shot. A down panning shot. It's not focused, it's focused now. This will not make the edit. Woo -hoo! It is arriving. Oh my goodness, so we are on our way to Bedford Avenue to be out for found the best car, maybe ever.
because the last clip I showed you was when we were drinking cocktails <sighs> cocktails at um, Yours Sincerely which was a really lovely looking bar um, that had cocktails on tap um, anyway I am filming here because I'm not sure if I've showed you this already these are my purchases that I've made some of my purchases I've made so far I feel like there are more that I'm missing. But anyway, these are the, are the ones that I remember making so far. Um, I've been wanting this book for ages. And um, I just found it in a cook cookbook store. I think it was a regular bookstore. Um, and I was just like, I'm just going to get it. Because it's beautiful. And I think it's very inspiring. And then I also got... Oh, this is my saline solution for my piercing. That also happened, which you've seen. Um, but this is a lavender pillow spray. I thought it was going to be comparable to my Lush one. But I can't really smell it. Um, I sprayed it on my pillow last night. And um, yeah, I wasn't sure. So I'm not going to recommend it um, just yet. So so yeah, we'll see how I get on when I am at home. And then I bought this hammered silver ring. Um, which I will get a close up of. I think Lizzie and I have already shown you this. But this is what it looks like close to um but it was ten dollars it was really nice and she had like a whole stack of them so if you wanted midi rings you could get them i'm i don't really like midi rings anymore um but i thought this was lovely and i wanted it to go on my index finger because i've got um two rings already that go on my middle and uh, my ring. Also, my nails look terrible. Please, please ignore them. We made eat Ethiopian food with our hands. I'm not even sure if I showed you, um, but it was incredible. It was so so tasty. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I'm sparing you the visuals on my face because I am really tired. We've just woken up. It's about 9:30 a.m. Nope, it's 10 after 10. Um, so yeah, so Lizzie's in the shower, we're going to get ready and then we're going to a place for vegan breakfast, aka my favourite breakfast. <laughs> because of the bacon and the, the scramble but yours you would have no idea my purchases for today I got this lovely framed print um, that I cannot wait to make as part of my feature wall I've got this um, I've got two other Liz Mosey prints that I've also got words on um, that I want to put in in some kind of pleasant space thing either at home or when I move out um, and then we went to a shop I cannot remember the name of it comes back to me I'll put the name on the screen um, where we found some ordinary goodies so I went for this is the coverage foundation I went for the shade 1.1 um, n and then this is the salicylic acid 2% solution I think these are cruelty free um, I had that in my head I have not however double checked um, so if you're into your cruelty free beauty definitely have a look um, but yeah, that is what I got today. So, um, in case you could not tell, I am now ready for bed. Um, we had a lovely day today. Um, we got to see Cobble Hill and the less touristy parts of Brooklyn, which was really, really nice. Um, and yeah, we had a lovely experience in the shops that we went to. Um, I wish that I lived around there. It was beautiful. Um, and so yeah, so it was a great day. 
Um, and tomorrow will also be a great day because um, my bestie Megan from when I lived in France, um, she is coming and in fact she's already here but we just haven't been able to meet up this evening because we are exhausted and she's getting in really late. Um, but we're going to have breakfast with her tomorrow and then we are planning on working our way down Bedford Avenue again but starting further south um, and then getting to the waterfront basically. So it should be lovely, it's our last full day in New York, um, we are meant to check out on Sunday at 10am so we're going to see what we can fit in on Sunday. Lizzie is nodding in the background. Um, but yeah, it should be our last day, it should be exciting and we'll see you then. <laughs> evening in the Big Apple. Um, that's okay babe. Um, we have had a really nice day. Um, we finally got to see Megan who I live with in France. I can't remember if I told you this already. Um, but it was so so nice and we basically wandered down Bedford Avenue to the water and then wandered back again. Um, I bought a vintage jumpsuit which is huge but I think I can make it work um, because I have been looking for like a utility style high waisted um, jumpsuit so it was really good to find that um, and I also found 40 bucks in my rucksack that I didn't know about um, so hopefully I'll be able to get a good exchange rate on that at home um, what else did we do today babe? Um. We saw the water, we saw Bedford Avenue, we got ice cream, we saw some dogs, which I think you filmed. Went to a nice bar this evening, um, had a couple of drinks, came home for leftovers and pasta. Um, and yeah, all around it was a good week. We just don't want to leave. We don't want to leave. Um, it'll be very sad tomorrow, but that's a sign that we've had an awesome week. So that is a good thing. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking I either won't f film any more after this or I will film a little bit of like plain footage, probably. Um, Lizzie is nod nodding in the background. Um, so yeah, oh, are you coming in? I'm just coming to say goodbye because it's been a magical week. And it's been so good. It gets me excited to see like this video and see like our memories kind of condense into something because it's been a yeah. really magical holiday. It's been really good. Um, so thank you for watching, we will see you again soon. Bye.